Here we have one of our V5 Auto Gen 48 volt DC generators. It's currently sitting on the test bench, getting prepared for one of our customers. It's been set up for dual fuel operation. So we have fuel, petrol, we have an LPG kit, and soon to install will be the LPG shutoff solenoid. LPG electronic shutoff solenoid gets connected here to the wiring loom. All we need to do is connect 12 volts DC for the controller and your 48 volt battery bank connects to the generator. Also, a three pin plug for the current sensor. Now let's take it outside so we can show you its operation. We will first test the generator on petrol. Turn off the fuel. Before running your generator on LPG, you should always turn off the tap, therefore all the fuel inside the carburetor will empty out. The generator is now ready to run on LPG. You might just be able to hear the electronic shutoff solenoid opening up when we press start. And there it is. few settings before its operation. Here you can select the low battery start voltage, select the current that you'd like to charge your battery bank with. We also have a few pre-selects depending on your battery chemistry. So we can increase, decrease current, see you absorb voltage. and your tail current. So let's go to the main menu and press start. Now the current will slowly increase depending on your current set point. Engine will warm up slowly and start increasing the current. Here you have a history graph, you can pre-select every 30 minutes, every hour, every 15, leave it at live at the moment, current is increasing and we'll stabilise at 20, increase it to 30, don't want to go too high at the moment because we have a very, very hot day in Cyprus. It's 40 degrees outside and don't want to push the batteries too high. And it'll stabilize around 30. It'll go plus or minus a couple of amps. And then it'll stabilize. slowly decreasing and stabilizing at 30. So drop it down. And decreasing.
and shut down. Lowers the RPM and then shuts down the generator.